Hi there everyone, my name is Andrei Marius and in this Envato Task Plus tutorial I will show you how to create speech bubbles in Photoshop, how to stylize them and then how to add them to these nice comic book illustrations from Envato Elements. With just a simple subscription, Envaro Elements gives you unlimited access to millions of creative digital assets such as video templates, graphics, photos, fonts and many more. You can subscribe right now with the link in the description. Let's open Photoshop to create a new document. Set the width to 850 and the height to 700. Make sure that you select pixels from this drop down menu and then click this button to create your new document. Before we start the work on the speech bubbles, let's open the panels that will be used throughout this tutorial. Go to window in the menu bar and open the character panel, the info panel, the layers panel and the properties panel. Also go to view, show and grid to make the grid visible. And then go to view and make sure that the snap to grid feature is enabled. For this tutorial you will need a grid line every 5 pixels. So let's go to edit, preferences, guides, grid and slices. Enter 5 in the grid line every box and 1 in the subdivisions box. Click OK and now that you are set let's see how you can create a speech bubble in Photoshop. Start by selecting the ellipse tool from your toolbar to create a 180 by 140 pixels shape. As you can see, thanks to the grid and the snap to grid feature, it is a lot easier to create this shape. Hold down the Alt key and you'll notice a tiny minus icon next to your pointer, which means that any path that you create right now will subtract from this original shape. Let's undo this move. Remember to hold down the Alt key. Once you click and drag, you can release the Alt key and switch to the Shift key to easily create a perfect circle. Make it 140 pixels. Press and hold the spacebar to be able to move this new shape. Place it in this spot. Make sure that your circle is 140 pixels and then you can release your mouse button. Now switch to the rectangle tool from your toolbar. Again press the Alt key before you start drawing your new shape. Create a 190 by 100 pixel shape and place it like that. Reselect the ellipse tool to create a 205 by 150 pixels shape. Use the move tool to place the shape about like that. And then focus on the layers panel. Hold down the shift key to select both your shapes. Right click on any of these two shapes and go to merge shapes to unite your selected shapes. Now that you have your speech bubble shape, let's add it to this nice illustration from Envalo Elements. Let's download this illustration and drag it inside the Photoshop document. Place your speech bubble roughly like that and then go to View, Show and Grid to disable the grid and to be able to take a closer look at the changes that we are about to make to this shape. Select your speech bubble shape from the layers panel and then focus on the properties panel to edit the color settings. First click the fill color wheel and change the color to red 254, green 244 and blue 225. Click OK and then click the stroke color wheel, change the color to 63, 95 and 4. Click OK, increase the stroke weight to 8 pixels and don't forget to check this round join button to add this nice smoothness to the corners of the stroke. For the text we'll use this child of font from Envalo Elements, so let's install it and return to our Photoshop document. 
Select the horizontal type tool from your toolbar and before we type in the text, let's focus on the character panel to set the settings of the text that we are about to create. Select the child of font, set the size to 40, increase the leading and the tracking to 30, change the text color to white, click OK and then you can simply click on your canvas to type in your text. Once you are done, you can press the escape key, switch to the move tool and place your text on top of the speech bubble shape. And then focus on the layers panel, double click your text to open the layer style window and first enable the stroke. Set the size to 4, keep the position and the blend mode as they are, increase the opacity to 100%, click the color wheel and select this color. Click OK and enable the drop shadow. Click this color wheel and change the color to this. Click OK, increase the opacity to 30%, set the angle to 135 degrees, increase the distance to 8 pixels, keep the spread as 0%, lower the size to 0 pixels, click OK and this is your final speech bubble. To create an action speech bubble, select the polygon tool from your toolbar and simply click on your canvas to open this window where you will set the settings of the shape that you're about to create. Set the width to 275 and the height to 165. Enter 12 for the number of sides, 0 pixels for the corner radius and 70% for the star ratio. And once you are done, you can click OK and your new shape should look like that. Let's drag this illustration from Envalo Elements inside our Photoshop document and place the action speech bubble roughly like that. Now pick the direct selection tool from your toolbar, use it to select this anchor point and move it a few pixels down and to the left about like that. Continue to the control panel where you can change the color settings of this shape. First, let's click the fill color wheel and change the color to 227, 203 and 226. And then click the stroke color wheel, change the color to 58, 57 and 100. Increase the stroke weight to 8 pixels and again don't forget to check the round join button. For the second piece of text, we'll use this best friend's comic font from Envalo Elements, so install it and get back to your Photoshop document. Select the horizontal type tool from your toolbar and focus on the character panel. Select the best friend's font, set the size to 60, increase the leading and the tracking to 50, Change the text color to 254, 205 and 8. Click OK. Click on your artboard to type in your text. Place it like that. And as you did with the other text, let's double click it to open the layer style window and enable the stroke. Just increase the size to 6 and change the color to this. Click OK and enable the drop shadow. Again, replace the color with this. Increase the opacity to 100% and set the distance to 14 pixels. Click OK and this is your action speech bubble. Before we start the work on the thought bubble, let's go to view, show and grid to turn back on the visibility of the grid. Select the ellipse tool from your toolbar. Remember to hold down the shift key to easily create a 70 pixel circle and then create a 90 pixel circle. Switch to the move tool to move this shape like that and then reselect the ellipse tool. Create a new circle that is 110 pixels wide, 175 pixels, one that is 150 pixels wide and one that is 60. 
switch to the move tool, check this box which will allow you to click and drag objects directly on the canvas. Let's start with this one and place it like that. Continue with this one and move it somewhere around this point. Select this one and place it about like that. Finally, this one, select it and place it around this point. Once you are done, deselect the ellipse tool. Create a 25 pixel circle and a 15 pixel circle and focus on the layers panel. With this top shape selected, hold down the shift key and click the bottom shape to easily select all these shapes. Right click on any of these selected shapes and go to merge shapes. Once again, let's drag this illustration from Envato Elements inside our Photoshop document and add the top bubble roughly like that. Now let's focus on the properties panel to stylize this top bubble. First click the fill color wheel and change the color to 247, 223 and 235 and then click the stroke color wheel and change the color to 201, 61 and 127. As we did with the other bubbles, let's increase the stroke width to 8 and remember to check the round join button. For the text, we'll use this more sugar font, so install it and get back to your Photoshop document. Select it from the character panel, set the size to 70, the leading to 35 and the tracking to 0. Make sure that the color is set to white and then type in your new text. Place it somewhere around this point and then as we did with the rest of the text, double click it to open the layer style window and first enable the stroke. Just change the color to this and then click OK and enable the drop shadow. Again, simply change the color to this, click OK and this will be your thought bubble. Now you know how to create your own set of speech bubbles in Photoshop. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to hit that like button as it helps me know that I did a good job. Subscribe if you aren't already and don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any new tutorial. If you are looking to learn even more, you can check out some of the other tutorials that Envato Task Plus has to offer. I'm Andre Marius and I'll see you in the next video.